Hey guys, it's Brad. Got this Fringe Sport Men's Wonder Bar version 2. And we're going to, this is the first time I've taken apart one of these. So we're going to take this bad boy apart. Sometimes the cap is hard to get out and you have to do something like this. <laughs> I mean, it's not hard. It's just, I, this is really cool. Like, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but this, the end cap is, it's a thicker piece of metal than I usually see in these. And it's like, um, what do you call that? It's, I can't think of the name for it, but it's like, uh, <sighs> lacquered. It's like raised and lacquered and anyways, really, really cool in cap. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay. Yeah, this is normal. A second ring here. Whoops. Go ahead and get that out. Okay. And then we usually have some kind of retaining washer. Oh, that's cool. All right. What do we have? I see some more washers in there. Let's see if we can push this back. Okay. So that's cool. That's a one piece. On the, the right bar, we, we saw a two piece style. That's a, a one piece retaining. And then um, this will just now slide off. This is very nice, like super smooth. Whereas the right bar was really rough under there. This is really smooth all the way around. And this, the right bar is made in the US. This uh, Wonder Bar, which I just dumped the <sighs> bearings out. Oh, those are, those feel nice. Those are some nice bearings. Oh, wow. That is interesting, guys. That Those two bearings were both from the same end. And so those, those both, both of those bearings came out of this end of the sleeve and there are those bearing cartridges. And there are two other bearing cartridges in the other end that... Um, they seem really smooth in there too. That's nice. But there is this brass retaining piece that I don't know if it comes out. So I may have to play around with that and find out. Um, but that was super easy to take apart. So we've got two bearing cartridges the retaining washer, the spacer washer, circ clip, end cap, and another circ clip. I'm gonna clean this off, do the other side, lube. It's actually really well lubricated. Then we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so I played around with this, um, uh, the, the bearings in the collar end of the sleeve, and it doesn't look like this brass piece comes out. I mean, I might be able to knock it out with a mallet if I stuck something down in there, but there's no real reason to do that. I'm just going to oil everything up and put it back together. And put some oil on this little brass piece and get the bearings in there. The, um, the bearing cartridges, it's like needle bearing cartridges in there a little bit. So based on uh, just tearing this one side off and based on the quality of this build, even though uh, this bar is manufactured in China, I'm going to have to recommend this bar over the American made right bar, which you've seen me tear down before. 
<clears throat> I think the build quality, maybe just the design. I mean, the design is definitely better. And honestly, the build quality is too. There. there we go. Now we get our retaining washer back on there. Get our spacing washer on there. I hope you can still see all of that. I think you can. We're going to get our circ clip back in. Nice and easy. And we're gonna get this really awesome end cap, man. So I want to get Clarksville Barbell Club end caps made like this with our skull. So if you guys know where to get that done, let me know. Stick that right back in there. Get our pliers here. There we go. She's back together. All right, guys, and there you have it. The Fringe Sport Men's Wonder Bar version two. Um, made in China, but really well designed, really well manufactured and put together. Um, the This has now beat out my American made right bars uh, for quality. This has two um, bearing cartridges in each end of the sleeve where the right bar only has one um, underneath the sleeve is smoother it feels that more well put together the knurling is not as aggressive as my right uh, men's next-gen bearing bar um, this knurling is more of a sandpaper grippy knurling, which some people may prefer. Uh, I, I've been, I've used it a little bit and I'm getting used to it. Um, but just from my powerlifting background, I'm used to a really aggressive, sharper knurling. Um, but this, this sandpaper is still, this, this uh, sandpaper style knurling um, still grips really well, feels really good in the hand. So, I'm, I'm going to have to say that if you're looking for a budget Olympic weightlifting bar or a multi-purpose bar, because this has the powerlifting marks and the weightlifting marks on it, yeah, this, this bar is really, really well made. All right, guys, keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.